wanting to avoid that. All right, Sir Savvy. Drinkable coconut. Drinkable coconut, Savvy, just for you. Your favorite coconut water. <laughs> Put it on the cup. Oh, you'd like this one much better, Savvy. I'm <laughs> yeah, it is. Well, still a little under the weather and suffering from a pretty good sinus uh, infection I got going on, but we're on antibiotics now. Hopefully we'll start feeling a little bit better this afternoon. <clears throat> Not going to be able to make it out to the outer reef and uh, get some big dives in. I'll just, I don't think my sinuses can handle that. But we're going to find out. I'm going to head out to the pier right here off of the beach and uh, snorkel around a little bit down there, see how deep down I can go, see what we got to see right here off the beach at the hotel. See what, see what wonderful wildlife waits for us down there. I know there's a lot of good stuff. Any last words? Gonna jump off the pier.
with the market grill tonight. Caught seafood night. Even got a little lobster. <laughs> hey guys, I wanted to take a moment to go over a couple of things with you. For those of you who may be uh, this is your first time to a tropical environment. Uh, maybe it's your first time snorkeling. Uh, there's some things you can do to get a little bit more out of the experience. Uh, for one, most people, if it's their first time, um, what they will typically tell you to do is get on a boat. And it typically costs 50 or 100 bucks uh, to get on a boat, and they're going to take you out. It's going to be a bit of a cruise, and you're probably going to be on there with like 150 people. They're going to strap a life vest on you. They're going to push you in the water and let you look down and see the bottom 30, 40 feet down, and you're not going to see a whole lot. Uh, that's fine. If that's what you want to do, it's your first time, have at it. It's an experience. Um, I do a lot of free diving, and I typically go down 25 or 30 feet when I free dive. Uh, that is for beginners about how deep you go uh, scuba diving and I've seen a lot of people I've actually been free diving down to the scuba divers in Cozumel before um, and I can tell you from experience that about 90 95 percent of what you see down at that depth you can see right in front of your hotel 20 feet off the beach the trick is you got to know what to look for first thing you look for are rocks and structures. That's the main thing. Um, anything that's on the bottom that allows the fish, uh, crabs, octopus, things like that, anything that allows them to hide, especially from a whole bunch of tourists at the hotel, that's exactly where they're going to be. Uh, tidal pools and things like that, they're a hot spot for everything that you're going to want to be looking for. Now, I don't suggest going and lifting up a bunch of rocks or sticking your hands up inside there. Uh, but I do suggest taking a breath, going down under, and looking at just from a, maybe a little bit of a distance, but looking up underneath those rocks and seeing what there is to find, because there's going to be a whole lot more than what you think there is. Uh, in the video I shot today, for example, um, I didn't get all of the shots that I tried to get. Uh, I did run across octopus. I ran across uh, spiny lobster, um, all, all kinds of brittle stars and things like that. 
I didn't get the shots, I'm afraid, because I had the camera uh, malfunctioned on me. I had battery issues and I had some issues with the case that I was using. Uh, so unfortunately, I didn't get shots of those, but I ran across all of those things in about two feet of water. Um, like I said, 90% of what you find at the 25 to 30 foot depth, you will find in four to eight feet of water. Most of the time you can find it in water that's not even over your head. Um, the majority of the things that you will find, a good place to go would be around a little pier. If there is a rocky outcropping off of the beach, a jetty, um, you're going to find everything you've ever wanted to see underwater is going to be right around there. They're not so fond of a sandy beach bottom, although I see a lot of stingrays and I see a lot of starfish and things like that in the grass beds. Be patient, swim around. The longer you can keep your face underwater, the more you're going to see. So make sure your equipment's attuned to you, make sure it's on comfortably. And the more time you can spend with your face underwater, looking around and exploring, and the more rocks and places that fish can hide and things like that, the more of those things you can find, you're going to have a much more enjoyable experience. You're going to get to see a whole lot more if you just do those two things. Good equipment, keeping your face in the water, and look up around all those little hidden structures and things where normally you might not look. You're going to see a whole lot more.